How do you build things that last? In a world of exponential change, where shrinking timescales and unintended consequences continually test us, how do you create enduring initiatives that stand the test of time? In 2022, USC Viterbi celebrated the golden anniversary of three major institutions as it introduced a new class of students to the principles that created them. Bold, uninhibited vision, agility and speed, steadfast commitment, and nourishment, support, and trust. Viterbi's freshman class came from 38 states and 26 countries and was 27% first generation and 49.1% female. 50 years ago, the founding of USC's Information Sciences Institute led to a worldwide revolution in computing, with breakthroughs ranging from the internet's domain name system to the foundations of generative AI or chat GPT. Today, ISI continues to advance AI and machine learning and to partner with D-Wave in quantum computing, innovations that will be used to model climate change, fight sex trafficking and homelessness, and combat online bias supporting health, sustainability, security, and enriching life. A second golden anniversary was celebrated by the Distance Education Network, DEN at Viterbi. Founded 50 years ago, DEN pioneered the concept of technology-enhanced access to the classroom. DEN now offers 41 master's degrees and five graduate certificates, ranked among the very top in the world in graduate online engineering and computer science. DEN has also enabled the iPodia Alliance, a 17-university global consortium that saw record student attendance last year, from Brazil to Nigeria to Afghanistan. This year marked the 50th anniversary of the USC Signal and Image Processing Institute. SIPI developed the JPEG and MPEG standards and laid the foundation for an engineering research center, the IMSC. Recent accomplishments include a revolutionary high-performance MRI, a mood decoder for the brain, work with the Gina Davis Institute on Gender and Media that led to a Governor's Award Emmy, and J. Quo receiving a Technology and Engineering Emmy Award. Celebrating its 70th anniversary was the USC Aviation Safety and Security Program, which today offers 20 courses to nearly 1,000 students annually, including pilots, civil aviation authorities, and accident investigators, and helped bring aviation safety to the extraordinarily high levels we experience today. And this year marked the 20th anniversary of the naming of the Daniel J. Epstein Department of Industrial and Systems Engineering, which for two decades has built expertise in computational and data-centric decision-making, impacting areas such as resource allocation for social welfare, healthcare, transportation, security, and the environment. Along with these remarkable institutions, USC Viterbi's faculty and staff have also been recognized for their achievements. Costas Sinalakis, Gerard Medioni, as well as Viterbi Board of Counselors member Farabors Masi were inducted into the National Academy of Engineering. Petros Ianu, Gerard Medioni, and J. Joshua Yang were elected fellows of the National Academy of Inventors. Dan Dapkis won the Franklin Institute's Benjamin Franklin Medal. Sri Narayanan was named a 2022 Guggenheim Fellow. The Viterbi Magazine received three Circle of Excellence Case Awards. The Viterbi produced Lives Not Grades won an Emmy Award for Best Independent Program, and seven of its creators received individual Emmys. Azad Madni received the IEEE Simon Ramo Medal. And for an extraordinary second year in a row, the Gordon Prize of the National Academy of Engineering was awarded to USC Viterbi faculty, with Azad Madni being this year's recipient for his work on transdisciplinary systems engineering. Even as we celebrate these accomplishments, USC Viterbi's next generation of transformative initiatives are underway. The Department of Biomedical Engineering received a $35 million naming gift and is now the Alfred E. Mann Department of Biomedical Engineering, expanding the education and research that has led to cancer-fighting medicines, brain implants to reverse memory loss, and the most successful engineering research center from the National Science Foundation for its work on restoring sight to the blind. 
Opening this year are multiple facilities supporting the innovation and educational ecosystem at USC Viterbi. Cumulative investments in experimental infrastructure of more than $100 million include undergraduate makerspaces, state-of-the-art instrumentation, and further enrichment of our nanofabrication and imaging facilities. And slated to open next spring is the new state-of-the-art Ginsburg Human-Centered Computation Hall. Engineering addresses four broad areas, health, sustainability, security, and enriching life. In parallel with the man naming, a gift from USC alumnus Gary Buntman and his wife Mary Buntman has now supported the launch of the Urshagi Center for Energy Transition, a major effort in sustainability to develop innovations for the much needed transition to renewable energy. Tomorrow's engineers will require not only competence, but also character, as powerful technologies bring powerful, unintended consequences. To create such trustworthy engineers, Viterbi's newly launched Engineering in Society program helps students develop a strong understanding of their ethical responsibility, understand the impact of engineering innovations on society, and enhance their human-centric orientation for our collective benefit. In a world of constant and rapid change, USC Viterbi explores the frontiers of what is possible in all its domains, with goals to solve the grand challenges our world faces today. In the ever-increasing intersection of technology and humanity, we cultivate mindsets of growth, resilience, and agility to continue to build things, concepts, and values that last, transformative initiatives that empower all disciplines, with the ultimate goal of engineering a better world for all humanity.